Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Hey, I'm getting ready to bench uh, bleed, bench test these uh, two master cylinders that are going out. These 70 only, 91 71s. Whoop. They both work really, really well. Great return, great fluid flow. Only on camera. Yeah, nice string. Yeah, there we go. We do these little short strokes at first so we don't jam those pistons down and new springs all jam them in there together and lock them down. I've seen some people push down so hard they don't do it on the bench, bolt it up on their car, especially a manual brake car, bolt it up on there and press on that pedal and there's no fluid in there and no resistance whatsoever. They hit it so hard Jams the two pistons together and locks the two pistons. You've seen that a couple of times, haven't you, Kate? Yep. And I told you how it happened, huh? Put their foot on that brake pedal, ain't gonna bench bleed it on the car, and they drive that back piston into that front one and lock it. So this is that other 9171 that we're getting ready to send out. Beautiful specimens. Got really good flow. Look at that. Really good flow. Yep. All right. There we go, my friends. Remember what a master cylinder is. All it is is a pump. So by definition, it has to move fluid and be able to maintain pressure. What most people don't realize, and I say it a million times, when you get in that car that you drive, I didn't say turn the key. I didn't say that. I said when you get in that car that you drive, truck, whatever, and you put your foot up there on the brake pedal, and you give it a couple, one, two little light pumps, that brake pedal is rock hard. Or it should be. Absolutely rock hard. And that little bit of information tells you that you have complete hydraulic integrity and no leaks in the entire system. Yeah, takes less than three seconds to determine that. Bye.